Hello, my name is Darren Taylor, and I'm the inventor of the Thermosent. Today I'm here to give you a demonstration on how to use your Thermosent actually in the field. First thing you want to do is take your Thermosent out, open it up. Inside most of our Thermosent models, you're going to notice there's two chambers inside. One chamber contains your cotton wick. This cotton wick is designed from material that you can pick up, replacement wicks at any local convenience store, um, big box office, a drug store, whatever, very, very inexpensively. In order to be able to place your wick inside, what I suggest is actually placing your fingers about three quarters of an inch, two fingers in the back, um, directly and fold the tip very uh, over just slightly. Slide that down inside one of your chambers. When you slide it down inside, kind of open your fingers up and that allows it to be able to go inside there and actually spread that wick out. You want to create as flat a surface and as much contact area as you possibly can. Next chamber actually contains your gel pad. Your gel pad is actually what you're going to use as far as your heat source. Now, in your heat source, I recommend that you place it actually inside your pouch when you can while it's not been activated. It's easier to get inside there because it's a snug fit for a specific reason, being able to make as much contact as possible. But your gel pad looks just like this. You'll notice that there is a translucent and there's a dime-sized disc that floats around inside here. This is what we're going to use in a few minutes in order to be able to activate our thermoscent. Now that we have our wick inside and our gel pad inside, we're ready to be able to take it to the woods or wherever. I don't recommend putting your actual cover scent or attractant scent on it until you're ready to use it. But let's assume that you're going to use it as a, a cover scent when you're leaving your vehicle. Now it's time to go ahead and activate it. Maybe let's say you actually get to your stand. Now you want to activate it there. What I also recommend is carrying your attractant or cover scent in either a half ounce or a one ounce uh, glass eyedropper bottle. The reason why is it's very easy to apply your attractant or cover scent at that time. Take your bottle out and be able to get yourself six eyedroppers full or one teaspoon full and just generously apply that directly to your wick. You do not want to oversaturate your wick. Don't turn a bottle up and pour it down inside this. As they say, it's great for taking a shower, but not so great for taking a bath. We don't want anything to leak out of the seams and your special fabric is designed to be able to contain your scent as long as you do not saturate it. Now that we have our actual scent on there, we're ready to activate our thermo scent. Hold it upright. Feel it back and forth till you find that dime-sized disc at the bottom. When you find that disc, snap it back and forth. Instantly, you'll notice it starts to get hot and it starts to get more rigid. As it gets more rigid, squeeze it for easy activation all the way through the pad and you're ready to hang it. For myself, you can hang it from vegetation, tree branches, on the edge of a bark of a tree. It's lightweight and very uh, soft and it won't make any much sound. And so you just fold it over your fingers like this. And what I'll do is I'll just go up to a branch, slide it over, walk away, go to my stand and enjoy my hunt. For those of you that are looking for more information, check us out on the web at www.thermoscent.com. Also, you look, check us out on Facebook. We look forward to hearing from you and enjoy your thermoscent and enjoy your hunt.